In the UK, little is actually known about the reality of duck farming. As children, we are often taken to the park to feed the ducks, finding enjoyment from seeing them swimming and enjoying their lives. However, every year in the UK, we farm and slaughter 14 million ducks, raising them in horrifying conditions before they are transported to have their throats cut. The following footage was filmed on three different duck farms. Ducks are farmed intensively, with as many as 10,000 birds confined in a single barn, meaning around four ducks are packed into every square meter. Throughout their six-week lifespan, farmed ducks will never see the sky or feel the sun on their feathers until the day, that is, they are taken to be slaughtered. Human-inflicted violence is also commonplace on duck farms, with farmers on this farm regularly documented kicking live birds, holding them by their necks and throwing them, and even dislocating their necks, before throwing them to the side, with the ducks often still alive, convulsing on the floor. The farmers were seen walking around, continuing to throw more dead and dying ducks into a pile, as the ducks showed clear signs of pain and suffering. However, they were simply ignored, left to die in extreme agony. This method of killing the animals by dislocating their necks is considered a legal practice, with the RSPCA even labeling it as being humane. In this moment, a farmer is seen driving over a duck with a tractor. However, the duck is still alive, as the tractor then proceeds to spray hay throughout the barn. The duck who has been run over is unable to move and is consequently buried alive underneath all of the hay. Furthermore, experts say that ducks display physical and psychological problems when they don't have access to water to be able to splash about in. However, within these barns, the ducks are not given any access to water for themselves to be immersed in. In fact, the only time ducks are submerged in water is when they are in the slaughterhouse, shackled by their feet on a conveyor belt and forced into an electrified water bath. Farmed ducks have been selectively bred to reach slaughter age in a matter of weeks, meaning that a huge amount of strain is placed on their organs and limbs, leading to the ducks struggling to walk and developing lameness and organ failure. With many ducks stuck on their backs, or already dead and left to fester on the floor of the sheds. Due to their intense confinement and the fact that the floors of the barns are never cleaned, the ducks are forced to spend all day stood in the urine and feces covered floors. New layers of hay are spread on top, but they too become saturated with feces and urine. When the ducks reach slaughter age, teams of catchers work through the barns, kicking the ducks and picking them up by their necks or wings and throwing them before violently forcing them into crates. Throughout this process, many of the birds suffer from broken bones and sprains that they are forced to endure as they are taken to the slaughterhouse. At one point, a duck is even crushed underneath the crates. The catchers will also dislocate the necks of the birds, again leaving them convulsing on the floor. And similar to before, the workers ignored the suffering birds, who were clearly showing signs of intense suffering and pain, the workers opting to leave them there to die slowly. A worker even begins singing and dancing as they force the ducks into a corner before then proceeding to kick and throw them. In another moment, two of the catchers begin running at the ducks to frighten them. And in this clip, a worker attempts to throw one of the ducks into the crate from a distance. The duck misses the crate, so he then picks the duck up again and tries once more. Ducks are sensitive animals who are heavily exploited and treated as objects by farmers and companies whose only aim is to make money from their suffering. For too long, these industries have been allowed to commodify and harm animals, but we can make it end. So please, live vegan and bring an end to this needless and senseless violence.